I'm Andre Rodriguez. And I'm Annabelle Earth. And today we have an actor, a dancer, a singer, and a writer joining us on the couch. Please put your hands together for Robert. Hi, Robert. Hello. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Tell us about the writing the book. What, uh, what book is it about? Um, it's sort of like a sci-fi fantasy type of genre. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And probably base of it all. It's like it's about a, well, a reincarnated war hero Ooh. where his past life actually finds him and he goes on a quest to sort of fulfill a prophecy about ending a pretty much an ongoing war. That actually sounds mm. really, really cool. Are you planning, planning as a series or is it going to be like a one book sort of thing? It's sort of going to be like one book, but it's going to be in like three different parts. Okay. So it's like the first part be renewed beginnings, then revealing truths, then reenacted prophecy. That sounds really good. So mm. is it like just a manuscript at the moment? We're still writing it? I've done the first third and just getting around to doing the second. <laughs> oh, that sounds so good. Well, good things can be rushed, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. How long have you been doing this um, acting and writing? Mm. Is it something you've been doing from a very young age? Well, I've only really started to really get into acting well, this year. but oh, This year? So, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, about six months in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've already been part of nine productions and this will be my tenth one I've been a part of. So. Okay. Oh, cool. So what have you done? Uh, mostly it's just been all extra work for in some student films. I've done a couple of feature films as well. You're right. kidding. Yeah. So what feature films were you a part of? Uh, I did It Only Takes a Night, which was the recent one. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I extra in that as well. That was yeah. fun. And the other one was with um, Darker Stage. Mum's not answering my calls. Hey, how's Sam's gang going? Dad's making light of the whole situation. It's not just your parents, Leon. Oh, yeah, I saw that around. But Isabella, Jacqueline, I believe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Just How did more. you get into it? I mean, what sparked the, the move into acting this year? Well, I guess my main real inspiration would be Robin Williams. Robin Williams? Wow. Yeah, no, he's a very good actor. Mm. I like him. It's like my way of saying it, it's like shining a light into people's darkness. Oh, that's really <laughs> sweet. So that was just, so you just sort of looked at Robin and just went, you know what, 2021, pandemic is yeah. over. We're just going <laughs> to go for it this year. Yeah. Is that sort of how things went down? Yeah. So have you like decided what, did you just jump into lessons or how did, how did you go about it? Yeah, because I started doing lessons and I'm still doing a few with Lauren Johnson. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very yeah. good. So they're always a bit interesting. <laughs> Although he always loves to break you down. <laughs> Welcome to acting. <laughs> yeah, it's always a bit of fun. When we first started, obviously, or when I first was looking, it was always very hard to find things to do. Mm. Um, maybe you could tell, how do you go about looking for jobs or, or classes? And Well, everything's out there. You just really just need a look. You've got plenty of websites and you always just ask around as well. It all comes down to who you know more than what you know. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> especially in Perth. Oh, it seems to be the same in any industry, isn't it? Yeah. You know what you know, it's who you know. Mm. And for all those who are watching and want to get into it, where would the first place be for them to start? Well, you think about jumping on set and seeing if you like the experience is a better thing or to go and do one or two classes first and see if they I would Actually, yeah, I would recommend doing some classes with Lauren Johnson. Because there are four different classes, but there are different aspects of what each one covers. Mm-hmm. So depending on what you really want to try to get into, they're really good courses to try out. Okay. Have you studied anywhere else or just with Lauren? And they're a little bit with the Actors Hub. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and how are you finding the two? Are, they, are the teaching methods different? Are you learning different things? Yeah. It's two different sort of learning environments. Mm. All right. A lot of different dy- dynamics, <laughs> especially when you have one with Lauren Johnson and then the other one with Amanda Cruz. It's like, yeah, <laughs> two completely different people. <laughs> I suppose it gives you a bit different information from different yeah. teachers, you know, because mm-hmm. not everyone's the same, not everyone yeah. absorbs the same information the same way, which is good. Yeah, 
Absolutely. I mean, have you sort of looked into anything else that you want to try, like with the acting? Do we have? You've obviously done like quite a few extra jobs and like in student yeah. films and feature films. What's the next step for you? Um, well, when I was growing up, thought so there's five of us kids. We all got brought up doing all the dancing and modelling, which is yeah. always a bit of fun. Have you got any photos from them? Oh, please, oh, yes. Yeah, send some photos through, but put them uh, below as well if people can see them. Oh, I don't know about the photos. But <laughs> <laughs> Ask your, if you know anyone who would have the photos, mm, I yes. can just track them down. Yeah. I'm more than happy to do that. <laughs> <laughs> So was it like your parents that were like, we want you guys to go model? Or did you just, you know, as a kid, like, you know what I'm going to go do? I'm going to go in front of a camera and I'm going to pose. Mm. Was that, which, how did that sort of work out? Well, I'm the youngest out of five, so it's just more what everyone else did. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah, you just followed the crowd. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do any of the other siblings also act or dance or no, write books? They've all gone that different sort of areas. Okay. Uh, got a sister that went into medicine brother that's gone into architecture the oldest has taken over the farm and the other one is on in the mines they've been over the farm where's the farm here or oh, back no down south down south uh, what, what do you guys grow there or what sort of farm oh, is it? sheep and crop sheep and crop mm. nice wow. so that's quite quite a far distance from yeah, it is. sheep <laughs> and acting it's a completely yeah. separate do you do anything else apart from the classes to help you get into a role or is there any exercises that you do? Well, the only other thing that I really use is a site called Star Now, mm -hmm. yeah. which pretty much, it's more just for student films, but every now and then you have like some commercial things pop up on it. Mm. Yeah. It's always a bit more interesting. Yeah. Absolutely. And you're also a dancer. So do yeah. we have any preference? What sort of dancers do we like? So I think I've done tap, jazz, Ballet, bit of Zumba, and tried doing a bit of Irish at one stage. So, Irish. can we <laughs> see some <laughs> little bits? <laughs> <laughs> right, on the couch. No, yeah. no, no, no. Let's not get oh, into it. Oh, come on! <laughs> You've already got the suit. Just just like like a little. Like, yeah. Yeah, the suit, right? it's a nice yeah. It'll happen. I'm gonna, it's going to happen. Uh, thank you very much for, for joining us on the show. I mean, as yeah. you, you can see, we don't only have those that have been in the industry for a long time, but. We get the new ones as well to give you a very truthful starting point if you wanted to get into the business as well. Yeah. But thank you for coming on the show with us today. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Alrighty. So still running until the 26th of July, we have the Genevieve Lacey and Marshall McGuire in concert. Remember to book online at musica.com musicaviva.com.au um, I don't know how to say that uh, we've also got Roxy Lane Theatre performance of Wind in the Willows so details and tickets can be purchased through Ticketek and mm -hmm. the last shows are this weekend guys and, and there might be someone from N5 in it let's just say who, who knows who <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and there's still time to see West Side Story at the Crown guys come on it's you know not one that comes on very often especially in Perth so get your tickets at ticketmaster.com.au and lastly, Life on Hold Productions presents This Is Our Youth, running from the 16th to the 31st of July. So details and tickets at tazdix.com.au and all of the links will be in the description below. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching the show. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notifications bell to be up to date on all of our content. And please comment below and check out our socials, the descriptions are down below. We also like to thank our sponsors, Malaga Print and Signs. And for all your social media needs, please contact Karen and Vicky, whose links will be at the bottom of this page as well. I'm Annabelle yeah. Earth. And I'm Andre Rodriguez. And, and this, this is, is in five. five. Don't forget to tune in next week, guys. See ya. See ya.